So next up we have one of my favorite performers. Every time he comes up I always mention the time that he um, masturbated on stage. And I, I'm not going to do it this time. So I'm just going to say <laughs> welcome Liber Xavier to our stage. how big it was totally flaccid because it was already semi-hard, probably from anticipating what he planned on doing to me. I wanted to touch it and suck it the second I saw it, but I instead reminded myself that he was coming into the tub with me so I could pace myself and not make it obvious as to how anxious my being a very sexual 30-year-old virgin had made me. As he stepped in, I moved back. Once he was in, he had me lay my legs over his. We rubbed and kissed on each other. In moving my hands, I did the same thing then as I do now. I followed his lead. He rubbed my shoulders, I rubbed his. When his hands moved to my chest, mine moved to his. I was basically making myself into an erotic three-dimensional mirror. Then finally, what I was hoping to mimic most, he started fondling my dick. I wasted no time in doing the same to him. After all those years of feeling my own to masturbate to the fantasy of it, I was finally feeling the texture of treasure trail, pubic hair, cock and balls of someone else. It was like the beginning of a heavy weight holding me down finally being lifted off of me. The Englishman then came into the bathroom. He wanted to take a piss. The leader and myself both said that we didn't mind. So we took a piss and looked at how me and the leader looked so comfortable. We both had inviting looks on our faces and me having an inviting look meant that this virgin was ready to be a slut. So as the Englishman read our faces, he asked if he could join us. We both felt the more the merrier. And then he got in the tub as well. So now it was rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in the tub. And there was a lot of rubbing being done, and not only by our hands. The Englishman was behind me, and his hard-on was rubbing against my back. Once I felt that, I got worried because I knew the condoms were in the living room. But these guys, especially the Englishmen, seemed ready to fuck my ass right there in the tub. Well, my worry was for nothing. Because they tried no such thing. Instead, 
They just popped another cherry for me by pampering me. The Englishman soaked up my back while the leader soaked up my front. I soaked up the leader's front since he was the one I was facing. But at some point, I did get a chance to reach behind me and feel the Englishman's cock in my hand. So that was now two cocks felt in one night. It's a big enough deal for a virgin to feel one penis, but I had the extreme pleasure of fondling two dicks with the recipients glad to be fondled. As I fondled his dick, I was loving every second of it. I had a gorgeous man's hands on the front of me and another sexy man's hands on my back. What was irking me at the moment was myself. I was so nervous and overwhelmed by all the new sensations being brought on by others' hands on me, besides my own, that I couldn't get hard. Much. You see, there was something about the Englishman that out of the three guys I had interacted with so far, he was the one who made my dick become somewhat erect. Be it by way of the kiss earlier, or now this bad. Maybe it was because I wasn't as visually attracted to him as I was the other two. So I became more at ease with him. But what he lacked in looks, he made up for in sexual aura. And I think that is what was making me become semi-hard with him. It happened enough that I began to think that if he was going to be the one to fuck me, that he would be the one it would be more obvious if I should enjoy it. Either way, I knew a hard-on for me didn't matter, since I wasn't going to penetrate anybody anyway. I could feel that at least between these two, I was going to be the one getting dick and not giving dick. We all got out of the tub to dry off. I never got a child of my own because the cherry of me being pampered was still being popped. The leader started drying off my front while the Englishman started drying off my back. Just like when we were all in the tub. We walked out of the bathroom and another cherry got popped for me. Not simulated like in a like an R-rated movie nor like in a porn video, as I had seen so many times before. But instead, it was live, right before my very eyes. The cyclist and the Asian were on the floor having sex. It was my first time seeing gay sex. The Asian was on his back with his ass in the air, and the cyclist was in a squatting position, bouncing up and down on top of him. Like I said before about this night being so overwhelming, I couldn't get hard as I was turned on and as I was by all I had seen so far. And now this, more things to turn me on. The cyclist had a piercing in the area of skin between his balls and his asshole. That did what all piercings do for me, which was pique my curiosity. What, what I was really getting turned on by, as my body failed to show, show it, was by watching this condom-covered dick slowly slide in and out of the Asian's ass. With the cyclist going so deep that his plump balls, obviously filling up with cum, were being squeezed with each slow inward thrust. It was like watching an opaque, white, skin-toned water balloon being squeezed. But this time, since it was attached to one person while touching another, you knew that some sensations were being felt by both people involved. A sensation of being grazed was felt by the recipient, but a tingling sensation to the person that the balls were attached to. I had to control myself, because all that pent-up sexual frustration, plus my geeky love of nature, made me want to go in for a closer look. And if I did go in closer, no doubt that frustration and my natural kinkiness would have made me lick something. But there was really no need to go in closer. 
For even though I wear glasses for such a distance, from those maybe three yards away, I felt like I was watching that dick go in and out of that ass in high definition. As if I could see every hair follicle, every pubic hair born from those follicles, every muscle contraction, and every liquid produced and moving from the sex. I stood and watched wondering what the cyclist and the Asian were feeling. What sensations went through the cyclist's dick as it slid through the Asian's ass tunnel? And how did those sensations compare to all those days and nights of me wrapping my hand around my dick and stroking it? And what did it feel like for the Asian to have the cyclist's thick dick sliding in and out of him? Was it a sensation that could make him come? like masturbation has been doing for me all those years? Or was it a different sensation to be had? Well, since I was sure someone in that room was going to fuck my ass, that I would get more of an idea of what the Asian was experiencing soon enough. So the question burning in my mind after this excitement was, When? When?